I'll open up with a couple of thoughts. First and off, first off, our crowd support is is um, it not only grows in stature, it grows in volume, and and from start to finish, whether it was last Thursday or whether it was tonight, from start to finish, the energy in this building is incredible. It really is, and, and we never take it for granted. I've always said that, but. It, it, it's when you get up and the crowd is still staying the way that they were at the beginning, that, that's a lot of fun. And, and the players feed off that in a big way. I mean, they really, really do. And I think people are enjoying it. Um, I, I know you saw the press release, and I didn't get to put in everything that I would say about the contract extension. The stuff that's already in there, that goes without saying. The administration, uh, Fred Glass, you know, the opportunity to work at a university like this, the opportunity to live here. Uh, but none of this would be possible without what, what my coaches do. And, and I have such a great staff. And, and we lose Benny last year, who unfortunately lost his opener tonight, right? Yep. And uh, uh, he did a great job of, of helping build this. And then we replaced him with Kenny Johnson, who's been outstanding. And I've got, I've got a group of people that have worked so hard, and, and, and it just it wouldn't be possible without them. And most importantly, it wouldn't be possible without the way the players have persevered, they have been here, the, without the way that they have improved, uh, without their resiliency and toughness and their desire to win and compete and do things the right way. And they've helped us try to get this to be as, as model of a program as it can be. And they're the ones that are doing the graduating early. They're the ones that are getting the 3.0s. They're the reasons we have 1,000 on the APR and getting ready to have that for the third year in a row. And they're the reason that we have these opportunities in front of us now because of the way they work. So I'm, I'm extremely thankful for that. Uh, as far as the game, to so try to say to these guys, you know, when you're playing, you, you, it's one thing to win. It's a whole other thing to improve while you're winning. And I thought we improved inside the game tonight. And the key is that we continue to improve inside of every game and, and in between those games. If we want to be as good as we want to be. And I thought that happened, especially on the backboards, to have two guys have double-figure nights, or double-doubles, I should say. Christian really had a triple-double because he had 10 deflections, and, and to get his career high in boards. I, I do think Derek Elston is in there sorting through jersey numbers because I'm not sure we're giving the 32 back to him. If Christian's going to get his career high in that number, so we might just have to do it. So, uh, though it is a little tight on him, but uh, that's okay, too. But... Uh, Cody, he played, a, he played an extremely, extremely good game uh, when, it, when you look at it on paper with a lot of room for improvement even in what he does. It, it's very uncharacteristic for him to go two for six from the foul line. We, we have expectations of him being in the mid-80s this year from the foul line. Because I think uh, he could lead the country in free throw attempts, and if he doesn't, Christian Watford might. So when those two are getting fouled and getting to the foul line, and when we can shoot those kind of numbers from the foul line, that, that gives us a chance to be really good. I thought the freshmen um, got better as the game went on. Yogi had, we can't take for granted uh, numbers like that in the presence that he had, you know, with what he did. And he had another good deflection night. Jeremy Hollowell really got it going in the second half. Victor Aladipo had 17 deflections. I'm not even sure what the rest of his stats are here. But but 17 deflections, That that is impressive stuff. And uh, Jordan played uh, a very good game. Jordan has been, has been very aggressive. Uh, for us since last Thursday, and um, and that's what we need him to be. And uh, Remy got better as the game went on. But just that's what we have to have. We have to continue to have that kind of improvement, especially because there's no question that we are shorthanded on the front line. There, there's no way around it. So we're trying to mix and match and do a lot of different things. And the players responded really well to that tonight. So with Yogi and Jordan, they had combined for 12 assists, four turnovers. You know, just talk about the the play of those two together, both playing together and just off each other. Well, I thought they did a very good job defensively together because ultimately that's, that's what the measuring stick will be as we go forward. And, and uh, sometimes it's clear in the game, sometimes it's not as clear until you get into the film. But I, I thought, uh, I, think, I think we'll be happy with the way that they defended. We didn't defend as well off the bench, especially in the first half. We had some miscues and some miscommunications. And, and we lost sight of the ball. We made some fundamental errors that we need to keep correcting. But if Jordan and, and Yogi, and, and Yogi is ahead of his years defensively, and, and, and uh, uh, that's, that's, been, that's been a joy because he just keeps getting better at that. 
And Jordan is a smart, savvy senior who's continued to become more athletic, stronger, all those type of things. And when those guys can lead the way defensively, then we have a chance to have a really good backcourt with those two because I think they're going to be good offensively uh, on the year. I mean, some nights will be better than others. But the defensive part is going to be crucial. Christian just seemed like he had a different look about him. Today. I, I don't know. I mean, more aggressive than we've seen. Well, he had seven boards at half, and, and I think that was that was important because he, he knows that that's that's uh, that's an objective that he's got to really show up in, and and uh, uh, the next level wants to see that at a high level. There's no doubt about that. We need that at a high level. My, 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 one of our goals for him is that that after every practice, and, and we we record and stat and chart every practice, and then we have our cumulatives. That every day that he is the leading rebounder in practice, and that it's everybody else's job to try to do the same thing. But when he's rebounded, when he's aggressive, even some of the shots he missed, he was a little casual on taking those shots rather than going up and shooting them. And and uh, he's getting better, and and uh, his strength is showing up. He can score and play in a lot of different ways, he can defend in a lot of different ways. He got 15 boards, and he probably is not going to grade out that high on the blockouts. So there's a lot of room for improvement with him too. But uh, he's a senior, and, and, and he has got uh, very strong maturity, and uh, he's got an understanding of, of, of what this is all about. How important is it with Yogi? It, it doesn't seem like he has any sort of reticence. It doesn't seem like he shies what away. What's that word mean, man? <laughs> Parts of reticence. reticence. It seems like he doesn't have any, it, it, it doesn't bother him to just take control of the what floor. What does that word mean? No, I'm trying What's to answer that. I can't. <laughs> How do you use I'm it? I'm fighting off the side of the spectrum. Reluctance. There you go. What? Reluctance works. Oh, just, okay. you know what that is? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not trying to. <laughs> no. Just to take control of the floor in any situation. I mean, for a freshman, how important is that? Well, I think that's who he is. And, and uh, I love Tim Buckley's quote the other day. I, I'd never even thought of that. You know, he's had his feet wet since the fifth grade. This kid's played in a lot of high level basketball games, he's a champion. I mean, he's got to be one of the, the, the great winners in high school basketball. I don't know what the numbers are, but, but with what he's done in his years in high school. But he was extremely well coached. He's one year round. Uh, I mean, you, you could make a case for him, and we certainly would, being the best point guard in high school last year. And he's carrying that right into the collegiate level. We have high expectations for him, but more importantly, he has high expectations for himself. So I don't think there's any reason whatsoever for him to have reluctance. And, and he does not like making mistakes. I know that. And, and uh, that's important that, that we keep helping him get to the point where he's not making very many and that, that he can just move right on if he does make one. You talked about the importance of Will playing with a lot of personality on the floor. Did, did he maybe push that a little bit? Tonight? No, no. He just, we, we just, there, there were a couple situations, and, and uh, uh, got in a little foul trouble, but he was aggressive. He'll be fine. No, he, that's who he is, and he plays with edge. And, and uh, uh, he'll be fine. He just he gets the, the foul situation never let him really get a great rhythm tonight. But he'll move on from that. I don't, I don't have any worries there. Coach, how does it strike you when you hear the word or the year 2020? Oh, I, I hadn't even thought of it like that. I, I just knew that I got a couple of years added to what I had left. So um, I, I, I think it, it, it means a lot. You know, I, I don't put it in perspective like that. I know we love being here. I know my family, I know our coaches, and like if a coach comes here, there's absolutely no reason that he should leave other than to go be a head coach at a, at a good school and, and uh, be able to run his own program. So everything is moving in a direction where we, everybody that's been here can look at it and say, you know what, we're, we're, we couldn't take this for granted, we couldn't take that for granted, we had to keep working with this. and. and and, th and that's the way the program's got to continue to grow. And I hope that uh, when that day comes that we can say we kept working in the same way, that, that it never wavered on how we worked to make it better. One more question? You talked about improving both during the games and between games, and you have a pretty quick turnaround to here early in the season to the next game. What do you expect out of your guys improving before then? Well, I would say... So I had not ball screen defense, for sure. Uh, communication, especially on the weak side. Uh, even better activity off the uh, off the post double. I mean, because Cody is such a great. Uh, I mean, he, he, he's 
he was he was aggressive. He looked for a shot tonight, and, and that's important that he scored. But he's also very aggressive with his passing, and he's so good there that we continue to get great cutting and movement. And I think that we just keep understanding how, how important it is that the offensive rebound the ball at a high level. So, I mean, there, there's always going to be a lot of things, but I think in the short term we're really focused on that. And at the same time, we'll be playing against a really good team in North Dakota State, extremely well coached, very good inside-out team, excellent post-up player. So our post defense, they had one good post player tonight. We'll probably see about three on, on Monday night. So those are areas that we have to be better in. Real quick, uh, what did it mean to you to see Mo out there in a regular season game, something that counts? It meant a lot. I mean, it, it meant a lot, and it seemed like he got the same response that he got last Thursday night. So, um, But once he's out there, we're coaching him like anybody else. So it, it's great to have him. I, I don't, you, you never take it for granted away from the court, but you just coach him regular when, and, and treat him regular when he's on the court. But there's no question when you sit and think about it, it's pretty extraordinary that he's out there. Thanks. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Coach. Yeah.